Hi everyone, CFL Park Hopper here, and today we are going to check out Disney's All-Star Resorts. The three resorts are the sports, the music, and the movies, and these are some of Disney's value resorts, so let's go check them out. Okay, we're going to start off inside of the All-Star Music Resort, and so in the lobby of the music, they have pictures of various music artists from the past. And from the present as well. They have a great food court here called Intermission Food Court. Let's head inside. Let's check this out. So they have breakfast, lunch, and dinner here. Uh, right now would be lunchtime. It's kind of quiet because the most people are out at the theme parks right now. But they have a great dessert section. Let's start looking at that first. So, look at all these delicious cupcakes. And it just smells delicious in here. <laughs> look at the tangled cupcake, that's beautiful. And the orange dream cupcake. They have a rainbow unicorn cupcake, a peanut butter and jelly cup. I might just have to stop here and eat cupcakes. So. Banana split cupcake. All kinds of great stuff. Man, I'm telling you. You can even just get cookie dough. All right, let's check out what they have for food. So it looks like here you can make bowls. Like you can start with um, rice or beans. Um, then you can get like pulled pork, um, raised beef, uh, grilled chicken. This is more like Hispanic flavors of the meats as well. Like it's adobe pulled pork or um, ancho rubbed beef. Chili spice chicken, I should have said all of that, sorry. And you can put um, peppers and onions on it or charred corn salsa, shredded romaine, things like that. Over on this side, they got chicken tenders, chili cheese hot dogs, they got meatball subs, pasta, lasagna, cheeseburgers. So all of your typical um, American fare over here as well. And they have a huge dining room because um, I'm sure in the evening for dinner, and in the morning for breakfast, it gets very busy, so they have plenty of seating in here as well. Okay. Let's head outside and check out the resort. Also, I wanted to mention they have a beverage station, and they have these drink cups that you can get for the length of your stay. And um, then you can get unlimited drinks your entire vacation. Otherwise, you have to pay for a cup every time you're going to get something to drink. So I'll show you one of those cups. I'm sure they have them for sale um, somewhere around here. All right, everyone, here we go. Gotta start with the cherry. Mm hmm. I always love a cherry. All right, let's cut this bad boy open. Okay, so here's the inside. You can see the banana foster in there. And I think each of these is a different flavor. So let me give it a try. Yes, that's really good. Excellent choice. All three of the flavors of the frosting. I have flavored strawberry, banana, and chocolate. So that's nice. It's not just colored buttercream, which is the majority of Disney cupcakes. They look beautiful, but then you taste the buttercream, and it's just buttercream. It has no flavor. These actually are flavor. And the banana froster in the middle of the cake is really good as well. Definitely a hit. Try it out if you're here when they have it. Otherwise, get something else. They're all delicious, I'm sure. Okay, so each of these resorts, the hotel buildings are going to be themed to the name of the um, resort. So since this is music, the first buildings we come upon are Calypso. So they have a giant marimba on either side and maracas. And this ho pool right here is shaped like a guitar. So it's really cool looking. We'll get a little closer. And I think they're having pool games going on right now. They got the three caballeros in the middle of the pool. And this here is the base of the guitar. And it winds down into the neck of the guitar at the back side. We're gonna walk around the rest of the resort. Here you can see a little bit better angle of the shape of the guitar, I think. Okay. The All-Star Music Resort is the only three in this value resort that has family suites. So, for instance, I'm coming up to a hotel door right here in front of me, it's green. And then these two windows next to it are all part of the same room. 
um, typically your hotel room at Disney, if it was a one room hotel, would just be the door and the one window. So to have the second window means that you basically have two rooms attached and that's um, very rare for value resorts. So it really is nice and it accommodates, you know, a larger family. Um, more than four people and you want to stay in one room and you're still getting a value price. Uh, it's the only one of the three all-stars though that offer it is here at the music. The movies and the sports just have, um, you would just have one single room. So it would accommodate four guests in one room. So I think these um, family suites um, accompany maybe six to eight guests. So that's one thing to know if you're looking to stay at an all-star resort and you have a larger family. I really enjoy the theming of the resort, and I am a music major, as I've said, and this is real music along the balcony. They have a two, four times signature, and they have actually two beats in every single measure, which is these, the columns right here, and this area in the middle, that's what we call a measure, and this is one and two. One, two, and. So that's really cool, and I can even read the letter names of the notes if it was a music staff. So they did a good job with that. It's very accurate. <laughs> Now we're heading into the jazz section. Each of the um, buildings, I guess, there's always two buildings that will be one type of theme. And so that's kind of cool. So we just came from the Calypso area and now we're in the jazz area. But it's kind of a really a pretty resort. It's quiet. Um, it's got great walking around areas and uh, it's really nice. The food court's a great option, you know, for when you want to get breakfast or dinner coming from the parks. Um, great swimming options. And then all of your transportation service from this resort would be all bus service to all of the parks. But um, it's okay. Uh, my parents have been staying here this weekend, and we've had really good bus service. Um, we haven't really had to wait very long. They've been really prompt. And a new great thing that they have um, developed in the last couple years is they will have a time board out where the bus service is and it will tell you what time the bus is expected to arrive. So you can kind of see if you have a five minute wait or a 10 minute wait. And I also noticed that you can check it on the app. If you look where your room reservation is on the My Disney Experience app, you can check for bus time. So let's say you're in your room getting ready in the morning and you want to uh, be at the bus and you don't want to miss it, you can see on your phone how many minutes you have to get down to the bus stop. So it is convenient and they have definitely improved it in the years. Um, so a lot of people don't like to stay at resorts that are bus only, but I definitely say they have improved it from what I've seen. And even though there's three resorts here, sports, music, and movies, a lot of times you get one single bus for your resort, especially when it's early morning and late at night when it's really busy transportation. In the middle of the day, you may have to share and go to all three resorts, but on those really busy times, they do give you one bus for just your resort. So that's good to know too. They have a second pool down here. And let's see, I think this one's shaped like a piano. Let's check it out. I love all the little music notes on the ground. It's really cute. So this one is shaped like a piano. So one pool like a guitar, one like a piano. It's got a giant keyboard in the front. So I'll come around here and let you guys see the bottom. But it's really cute looking. How neat is that? So you can like pretend you're playing piano. Back in this area is the country theme area. I got some cowboy boots, and violin back there. It's pretty cute. Another thing I really like is that they decorate the staircases. So this is like a harmonica on the staircase. And this is like a giant speaker. I think those make it really creative. This is the rock area. All the big guitars. It's pretty cute. So this is the music resort. We're gonna head over now to the sports and check out the theming over there. Here's a better view of the guitar pool from up above. So you can really see that it's a guitar. Okay, now I'm gonna show you um, what the rooms look like. Again, these doors here that have the two windows next to it, those are the family suites, okay, which the majority of the rooms here at the um, All-Star Music are. As you see, there's no door on this side for there to be one room. But some of them at the end of the hall are just one room, so that's the ones I'm gonna show you right now. I'm not gonna show you a family suite. 
Okay, so this is the inside of the room. It's got two double beds. Um, it has carpet on the floor. Last time I showed you a value resort, it was Pop Century, and those were redone with hardwood flooring. Uh, these still have carpet, but I believe that these rooms were redone um, not too many years ago. So I think this is their current look and going to stay that way for a while. I don't think they're going to update them to the hardwood floor. You get a fridge standard in every single one of your rooms. TV. You do have space on either side where you could put luggage. You do get a little table and chairs. And then you have your bathroom area. You have a sink area. And what I like about this area is you do have a curtain that you can pull shut. So someone could be getting dressed in this area here. Um, someone else could be in the bathroom, in the shower, and then somebody else could be out here. So it does give you some extra privacy as well. Um, I think as far as the size of the value re room, I think they look the same. They're probably all the same dimension. Even to the Pop Century, I would say that the All-Star room is very comparable in size. I think that the um, Pop Century room feels bigger because with having the hardwood floor, um, one of the beds folds up. It's a Murphy bed inside now in the um, Pop Century, so you would have that space. But when it folds up, the table that is here at the All-Star um, becomes the table. It's a way the mechanics work where the bed folds up and then it becomes a table. So that this space would not necessarily be clear inside of your Pop Century room. And you can check out that Pop Century video so that you can see the difference between the two rooms. Value is essentially mostly around the same price, sometimes give or take. If you go on to DisneyWorld.com, um, you will see um, a couple of different uh, prices, but it's usually only like a few dollars here or a few dollars there. It's not a lot of difference. So I like the hominess feel of the all-star room with having the carpet. Um, I felt that the pop center when I went in, it you know, kind of had a colder feel to it being that it was the hardwood floor. But I remember that it had a very long dresser area that had a lot of ports and things, you know, for the newer technology. Where here, like on the bedside table, there's really not a lot of that. I don't see a place where there's any US B plugs or any of that um, anywhere where they had those at the pop century because it was updated so that would be one of the downfalls um, again it's just going to depend I guess on your preference while you're on vacation all right let's head back out and see the rest of the resort okay so I want to give you an idea how close these buildings are together so this is the rock area where I just was I just walked to the end of the building and I came out to where the parking lot is and right across from me is the sports so it is easy to walk back and forth between resorts and so if you're just at the property you know maybe you're not going to the theme park one day a lot of people don't like to use um, theme park tickets on the days that they travel in or out but maybe you have like a later flight leaving the day you're gonna leave or you get in early the day you're gonna be here and you want to you know kind of so explore a little bit it is easy to walk between the resorts so I'm just gonna walk over and we're gonna start at the back of the sports and then work our way up to the lobby okay so I assume here at the sports all the buildings are themed like with a different sport so we're here starting in tennis because these are Spalding tennis canisters covering the stairwell and I'm seeing rackets and balls here decorating the front love 1540 that's the score that's how you score in uh, tennis and they have a giant tennis court out here where it looks like Donald, Huey, Dewey, and Louie are having a match. Let's get a little closer. Check that out, that's cute. All right, this is pretty neat. So it looks like this could be a fun little place to play and hang out, let your kids run around a bit. The grass is nice and soft. You got benches where you can sit. Oh, now check this out. As I got closer, check out Donald. He's all angry. He's playing tennis because Huey, Dewey, and Louie are playing baseball on this side of the tennis court. They're not even playing tennis, and that's why he's so upset. Because they're over here playing baseball. And so there he is all angry. That is funny. I didn't even notice that from the other side. Really cute. Good theming. Back here is the basketball section. It's cute with all the little basketballs everywhere. And they have a giant basketball hoop. And here's a kid trying to play basketball and then trying to make it into that giant hoop with his ball. So this is a great area it's because, you know, your kids can play around and they're not going to really hurt anything. You know, the stuff's kind of made to be played with. And, oh, he made a basket. Cool. So that's kind of neat. They can kind of blow off some steam. 
And it looks like they have a surfing side here at the giant lifeguard tower. That's cool. With all the fish and whales and things on the sides of the balconies. It's pretty creative. And they have a giant centerpiece here of All Star Resorts with Mickey Mouse. It's pretty. So this is the surfboard area, surfboard bay. And they have a giant swimming pool here. This is their centerpiece. Uh oh the giant shark can look out. That's a pretty cool though with all the surfboards and things. So here's the big pool area here. I'm not really sure if it's shaped like anything. Let me get a little closer. It's kind of hard to see over the fence. I can't really tell. I don't really think it has a shape of any sort. All right, and down this way they have the football section. Check out the giant football covering up the staircase. This is a giant football field here in the middle. So how neat is that? Sit here and play and run on this. It's a kid's dream here. And down past that is the baseball section and another uh, swimming pool. So let's head down there and give that a check. I also like at the top of the buildings, they have pennants of colleges. So they have the Florida State Seminoles, the Tennessee Vols, over here is the Crimson Tide from Alabama. So I think that's cool too, that instead of it just being um, professional teams, they're showing off college teams. Cyclones, that's my alma mater. Anyone know where the Cyclones are from? Leave a comment. That's where I went to college. So that's cool, you know? Giant football helmets in the middle. It's pretty cool. They even have their plays drawn, I guess, here on the grass. This is so soft to walk across as well. It's really nice. Mickey Mouse in the middle. All right, here's the baseball section. So it's kind of set up like a baseball diamond. So 10 bucks tells me the pool is going to be shaped like a baseball diamond. What do you think? Let's check it out. We can get a little closer here. Got the scoreboard. They got the bleachers. Here's the pool. Yep, it's a baseball diamond, all right, with Goofy as the pitcher. See him there in the middle in the fountain? And they have some sports over here. Stuff that you can do, you can throw your little football around. They have a little tennis net. It's a great stuff for the kids. Bean bags over here. Lots of fun. All right, we're gonna head right back and there is the food court, that green building there. So let's go see if they have different food or the same food as the music. Okay, I'm almost back to the food court building, but as I'm getting back to the food court building and I'm looking back here at this um, surfside area with the surfboards and the main pool, I don't really think that that was the original theme. Like, I don't ever remember that being here. Granted, I haven't been to the sports resort in a long time. Years, I'm telling you. But I don't remember them having this beachside theme. So... Can someone tell me, was the beachside theme, the main theme, the main pool area since the sports resort opened in 1994? Or is this area here re-themed as of recently? And what was it before? Because I kind of remember, well, I was gonna say I remember a giant foosball area, but that, that didn't know what Pop Century Resort. So what was here before if this wasn't beach themed? Maybe it's always been beach themed and I just have never been in the middle. But I know I haven't seen this before, but I've seen the football area and the baseball and all of that before. So let me know. Leave a comment if you have stayed here at the sports, especially if you've stayed at the sports a long time ago. Let me know. Okay, we are inside the food court. This is the end zone food court. The other one was called the intermission food court. So that'll tell you a little bit of theming there between sports and music. Again, nice long dining area, plenty of seating. Here's the beverage stations. These are the cups I'm talking about that they have over here. You buy one and you use it for the length of your stay. So again, you would highly want to invest in that. They're great. You can take them with you to the parks. You know, you can fill, up, fill them up here. You can't fill them up inside the park, but you can take them with you to the park and then you have something to drink. Okay, let's check out the menu. So they have flatbed pizza, flatbread pizzas here. These are different than what we did see over at the music for sure. So a few little things on the menu are different. 
They have the chili cheese dog, we saw that before. They have cheeseburger, chicken nuggets, that kind of stuff is the same. Remember at the music they had the um, build yourself a bowl with the Hispanic meat flavors? Here they have sandwiches, turkey panini, Cuban, grilled cheese, quesadillas, power salad, toss salad. So those things are different. Check out the desserts. Sorry. Okay, they still have the banana split cupcake, which I'm curious. Is it just like that the frosting makes it look banana split, or does it really taste like something on the inside? And look at this cheesecake. That is delicious looking. They have a stitch cupcake. They have a mini cupcake that is so pretty. Peanut butter and chocolate cupcake. Yum. So some different things here. So if you're staying for oh, like a week here at these resorts, you know, you, you will eat at the theme parks. Yes, you will. But you will also come. Look, they have ice cream here. They did not have ice cream at the other one that I saw. So that's also different. But you know, there will be times where you will want to be at the resort and eat. So you may not want to eat the same menu every night. So look how close it was for me to walk from the music to the sports or back and forth from the sports to the music. And here we are in their lobby. And they have all kinds of sports memorabilia pictures and things. It's really great. I'm going to walk through their um, gift shop because all of them have a gift shop right here at the front. So let's head in there and check their gift shop out. So we have all great things for the year 2019. Park stuff, t-shirts, you know, same kind of stuff that you can get in the parks. But what I like about gift shops at your resort is, let's say you have your eye on something that you want to buy all week. Buy it at your resort if you know it's there instead of at the, at the theme park. And then it's less to carry around the theme park. So they have some of the ears here, the purple potion, the uh, rose gold, and these new ones, the green with pink. So, um, you know, if those are things that you're interested in buying, it might be easier to get them here at the gift shop instead of having to carry them around the theme park, that kind of thing. Okay. Also, all the gift shops carry a sundry section. So if there's something that you forgot on your vacation, you can get them here. Um, and they have, you know, drinks and things and little snacks and chips, stuff that you could have in your room and things like that. So that's cool. They even have, looks like champagne or wine and some different kinds of beers as well. And right out front is the busing area. So again, this is where you would jump on a bus. And I'm trying to think if I want to get over to the movies resort, I could still just walk. I'm super close to music. It wouldn't be that much farther to movies. But I'm wondering if I can get on a bus from here. It would cut out some of my walking if one of these buses shares, you know, and drops off at the next one and the next one. However, once I get to movies, let's say I'm staying at sports, I would not be able to get on a bus and come back here because movies is the last drop off before they go to the theme park. So you would still have to walk back from movies back to sports if that's where you're staying. But it's an idea. At least it would cut out half of your trip. So... I'm going to kind of wait here for a minute and see about a bus and see if it is going to all three and if I can ride over to movies. Here are the times also that I was talking about. So right now it tells us it's 3.05 and that the Epcot and Animal Kingdom buses are coming at 3.11. So is Disney Springs, Typhoon Lagoon is coming at 3.15, Magic Kingdom at 3.15. And these will consistently update. Uh, it looks like Hollywood Studios and Blizzard Beach are not having a bus at the moment or they don't have an ETA on when one is coming. I assume. So this is a great schedule thing to have while you're here waiting for your bus. And just to give you some bearings, the first hotel as you come in, you come in from over there, is sports. And then music is the one in the middle. That's where I started. And so then movies is the final one down the road. So it's sports, music, and movies. So this bus coming back probably dropped off at movies or picked up at movies. And now they're heading back out to go back out to the theme parks. One is pulling in. Let's see. I'll have to see if I can get over to movies. Okay, so just so you know, I decided to forgo riding the bus because again, as I kept thinking about it, I'm like, you know, if people are staying at the sports and you're watching this video and you want to go to the movies resort, um, like I said, you won't be able to ride a bus back. So I think I should show you how long it would take to walk. Um, just so you'll know that before you would go there. So that's what I'm going to do. So uh, it's, it's 3.07 and I'm just stepping off from the sports and I'm going to see how long it takes me to get over to the movies. 
Okay, so as I walk, I realize I'm on the inside sidewalk, you know, where the sports is, and I need to be on this outside sidewalk to go from resort to resort. So I'm gonna cross over here carefully and get on this outside sidewalk because this is gonna take me down the road to the movies. And in case you're not sure, there's a sign that says straight ahead for traffic, so that way you'll know that too, you're walking in the right direction. Nice thing about this path is it is very shaded. It is the middle of the day. It's spring, so it's not, you know, really hot like it would be in summer. It's probably in the mid-80s today. There's not a lot of clouds, so it's pretty sunny in the sun. Um, but, you know, if you're here in the summer, this would be a pretty hot walk. But... It has a lot of nice shade in this area, so that's good. I am almost to the music already. I started at 3.07, it's just 3.09. Granted, I walk at a pretty good clip. I don't run by any means. I know that many people walk slower than I tend to though, so I understand that as well. So I'm just kind of giving you a heads up, but I am like, once I cross this sidewalk up here where this car is pulling out, the next um, place will be the entrance to the music. So I'm almost to the music. And that's only gonna be about three minutes total from when I started walking. Okay, so I've been walking for four minutes and now I am at the front of the, uh, the music resort. So I would basically just take this down and into that area right there. That's the main lobby building. And then I could be inside the food court. And so, um, there's no sidewalk right here though, but it starts down there. So you could go down there. Let me keep going forward and see if I see another sidewalk that would be safer to cross. Okay, so I've come down a little closer on the sidewalk and here's a sidewalk directly into the parking lot. And then you could just follow that straight across and be into their food court. So I'd say five to seven minutes based on your walking speed to leave from the um, very front of the sports and be to the front of the music. If you wanted to go from your room, like if you were staying in the baseball or football section, again, I could have walked across the parking lot like I showed you, and I would have come in between some of the buildings of the music and then I would have walked up to the food court. But as I'm walking to the end of the music now, I am already starting to see buildings of the movies. So we are getting very close. So this is not bad. It's, they're all really closely connected. Okay, so as I cross this street here, this is where the kind of the exit of the movies is, or the music is, and where the movies starts. Their parking lots right here. And this is the Mighty Ducks wing of the movies. And it's kind of funny because it looks like hockey. So since I just came from the sports, you're like, wait, what? I'll kind of zoom in a little bit. You can see the building and right there you can see the hockey net is the uh, staircase. So you're thinking this is still sports, but it's from the movie The Mighty Ducks is one of the themes of one of the buildings of the movies. And we're still on the right path because it says movie straight ahead. So right around the bend here we should be coming up to the entrance. Okay, the time is 3.16. I told you I started walking at 3.07. So I haven't even been walking a full 10 minutes and I'm already coming up upon the music property, and you know? or them. I keep calling them the wrong thing. I'm so sorry, you guys. The movie's property. So, um, this isn't taking me long at all, and I'm not walking fast. It's like I'm just walking at normal speed. So, it's getting close. I can see the star. Now, I would also assume if you wanted to, you know, pool hop between resorts, you could. Um, I was able to walk into the gates without having to scan my band. They do have fencing around all the pools for safety of children. And I think, uh, but none of the pool, like, fences, like, the doors are locked. You can turn them. I think the handles are just high enough that, like, little kids couldn't reach the handles anyway. So... If there's one pool in particular that you see that you're like, oh, I really want to swim in that one. I don't see why you couldn't, you know, head over to that resort and swim. Because again, if they checked your magic band, you'd be staying at one of the all-star resorts. So why not be able to park pool hop between the three? <laughs> so here we are, movies. So again, five to seven minute walk from sports to music and maybe another five to seven minutes between music and movies or, you know, 10 to 15 minutes total between sports and movies. And the next building we see after the Mighty Ducks is the Dalmatians. 
And look out the fire hydrant for the staircase. It's so cute. And the little dog bones on the sides. But they're little movie reels where, uh, for the fence line, I guess, uh, the balconies. Because at the music, it would look like music staff. And the sports, I don't know. I guess it just, I didn't really notice what it looked like there. So, <laughs> little uh, things you see, you know, as you walk. All right, I'm gonna keep walking here to see if there's another path into the parking lot like we saw at the music. We're coming up to the movies, food court. So far, I think the most interesting cupcakes are back at the music. But uh, I may have to get a cupcake here some, somewhere. These are looking good. But let's check out what their food options are here at the movies as well, as well as look around to the rest of their resort. Okay, I didn't keep walking down to keep looking for a walking path into the parking lot. I just kind of came through the trees. So, I figured why keep walking down when right here is the building that I'm looking for. I want to talk about these strollers and wheelchairs that are parked out front. Because I think this is something important to learn about. If you're going to need like a motorized scooter while you're here. If you have small children and you need a double wide stroller and you don't want to bring your stroller from home. Is that you can rent one from various companies here in Orlando. And they will drop it off here in the front of the hotel. And you can pick it up here. And then you keep it in your room throughout your stay, but then you drop it off back here when you're done with it. And it is half the price of what you're gonna rent inside of the parks. So keep that in mind. If you're coming for a week, that would save you some money, okay? So check that out uh, when you come. And you know what, you can get here and you can rent it right here that day and it will be here ready for you the next morning very efficient so let's say you don't do it ahead of time you can do it the first day you get here all right let's head into their lobby and check it out some of the same merchandise this is called the double feature is the name of their store look they have the dumbo merchandise for the new dumbo movie here it's cute so some merchandise is different than what we just saw over at the sports. So, you never know. But here's some of those cups. Here they are. A rapid refill cup. They have some different designs on them, too, so you can kind of pick one out that you like. But they're $18.99, and then they are good for your entire length of stay. Oh! So you figure, as I was saying, about that $18.99 for the length of stay, if you're staying for a week, and you got a, a drink at breakfast, a drink at lunch, a drink at dinner, you'd definitely pay for it by using that cup. Plus, and you could get something at night before you went back to your room, you know, things like that. Also, if you have the dining plan, that cup is included in your dining plan. So that's even better. However, just remember, you cannot fill them up at the parks. You can only fill them up at your resort. But if you do have the dining plan, that cup automatically comes with your dining plan. You don't have to pay the $18.99. So that's great to know. All right, let's head into their food court. It looks a little different. It's a little more open and airy. Do you have a lot of seating? Let's check it out. So it's kind of set up differently. Hot food starts over here. They have pizza again, but the last one had flatbread pizzas. This one doesn't. This has chicken parmesan sandwich, meatball sub, uh, spinach artichoke pasta, vegetarian ziti. That's still different than what the music had. Um, let's see. Over here, we have nacho salad, salmon. That looks good. And they have a roast beef sandwich, chicken salad sandwich. Okay, and keep in mind, this are some of these things are lunch options and they may change for dinner options as well. I haven't really talked about this little marketplace area at either of the other places we went, but you can come in here and get drinks and like cold things, like they do have fruits and veggies and yogurt and milk things like that in here, little to-go sandwiches, and they put some of the cupcakes in here as well. They do have some of the breakfast breads over here, and look at this, they have soft serve ice cream and make your own sundae here. Did not have that at either of the other resorts. Well, 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 let's see. $5.99 for a small, you can choose your ice cream and your toppings. Your $7.99 for a large, so I guess that depends on the cup size, I assume, yeah. I assume the brown is the small and the white is the large. And that, well, does that sound good or what? Okay, then we have 
the burgers and chicken nuggets. Looks like that's standard fare at all three resorts. And then they have a, another area over here with cupcakes. Is that banana split cupcake again? I'm gonna ask about that one. So I found out that the banana um, cup, banana split cupcake has, is a banana is a vanilla cupcake with banana Foster's cream inside. So that might be one to do. They also have a different kind of cheesecake with chocolate here. We saw strawberry at the sports, and they have a Herbie uh, cupcake from Herbie the Love Bug, and he has um, he's a chocolate cupcake. I think he has a chocolate mousse inside. So really cute. Same stuff over here. All right, awesome. They even have their Mickey bars here and ice cream sandwiches, just like you can get in the park. Remember that if you're on the dining plan, those count as snack items. And I'm beginning to think that that's a really good value because they have raised the price of the Mickey bar inside the park to $5.79 a bar. So that dining plan in some ways can be very helpful. Okay, let's head out and into the movies resort. Okay, their main pool right when you step out is the Fantasia pool. Check out Sorcerer Mickey there, squirting the fountains. And I love this building over here with the brooms. It's really neat. Stayed here long ago. It was a lot of fun. And down this way is the Toy Story area. Let's go check that out. Okay, so I'm walking through the Dalmatian area. I just came from the movies uh, food court area and I'm headed back towards music. So I just wanted to show you, you know, if I was walking from movies to music, I could walk through here and it won't be very long at all. I love all these little dog bones everywhere. And look at the little TV, like Lucky's watching TV. Remember that from the movie? And then next is the um, Mighty Ducks area, and they have a pool here. So we're gonna pass that, and then we should be back to the music. Okay, here's the Mighty Ducks pool. Got the hockey net. You got beach balls in there, fun stuff to do. They also have guest laundry at each one of the resorts. You just have to figure out where it is at your resort. But if you're staying for like a good week or so, you know, you may wanna use the laundry. So there it is. Okay, we're just gonna keep heading on out. The big duck ma hockey mask. And that blue building straight ahead through the trees, that's back to the music already. Who remembers this movie, Mighty Ducks? I barely remember it. I know Emilio Estevez starred in it. <laughs> and other than that, I really don't remember any of the premise. So wondering if any of you guys do because this building seems really dated because you know it's not really a, a movie that people watch anymore but I think it would cost a lot to renovate the building just because of that all right see right here we're already back to the music so we can take this sidewalk over here and be right back to the food court because it's time for some kind of cupcake I don't know maybe that banana split one with the banana foster inside we'll have to see all right, so here we are, we're already back to the movie music. So overall, these three resorts are very closely linked together. Very easy to walk between the three of them, um, travel to each one, see different things while you're here staying on the property. Very doable. And if you have to have a scooter, uh, you know, for mobile reasons, easy to get around in your scooter too. So many walking paths and things, very easy. All right, let's head in here, get a cupcake. Check this out, this resort has a real playground for kids to play in. I didn't see that over at Music or Sports. It could be there, it just may not have been like where we walked, but it's interesting to know, maybe this is the only one of the three resorts that has this. Hard to know. All right, we're getting close to Toy Story Land. Toy Story Land, listen to me. We're not at Hollywood Studios, we're at All Star Movies. We're heading into the Toy Story Room area where they have the bucket of soldiers as the staircase. And RC the car is out front. 
Now this is what I consider the original Toy Story Land here at Walt Disney World because long before there was Toy Story Land at Hollywood Studios, this Toy Story area has been here at the All-Star Movies. And I remember when this hotel first opened and I was so excited, I was a lot younger and it was just so much fun to come and stay here in the Toy Story area because right here, you do feel like you're a toy. You do feel like um, you are small and these toys are just giant. And you walk into Andy's room right here through the door. So let's head on in. Andy's room, keep out. Check out the door handle. Way up here. I can't even reach it. And there's a giant Buzz Lightyear. His name spelled in blocks. And over here we have Bo Peep. Rex and Woody. Look at the giant checkerboard. So neat. There's Woody. And all the toy soldiers up on the roof. Keeping watch. This was always my favorite area when this when this uh, hotel first opened. So I really think that the Value Resorts are a great place to come when you have families with young kids. They are great resorts themed towards, I think, having young kids because of the fact that you have the food court, which makes getting food easily accessible. And I know sometimes young kids do not want to sit and wait at a sit-down dinner. You know, they're hungry right away. You need to get them something quick. Um, the bus service, like I said, has greatly improved um, from long ago with technology nowadays and GPS. They can track where the buses are. Gives you a great estimate of when your bus is coming. Like I said, you can keep a tab on it from your room. Um, I think even there's a station in your room that like shows all the park information and I think the bus information may be on that TV station too so you could have it just tuned in on your TV or like I said you can check it from the app on your phone maybe you're sitting in the food court and you're having dinner and you're heading out to Magic Kingdom so you can kind of keep watch on when you need to be out by the buses you know instead of just standing in line for a bus you can kind of sit and relax and get out there when you need to so I think it is a very flexible place to stay it's also great for economy, you know. Um, you're coming on a Disney vacation. It's a very expensive thing for most families. And uh, so these value resorts are probably the best bang for your buck as far as um, the price of the rooms. Again, the music is the only one that has family suites out of these three resorts. So keep that in mind. Well, everyone, we hope you enjoyed our video today of Disney's All-Star Resorts. If you liked the video, hit like and subscribe down below to see more. Thanks for watching.